met Lem Bossin, you have potentially come across the paper stump and plastic little eraser tool has a point on one side and a wedge on the other side. Because these tools are either made of paper or of plastic, they tend to disintegrate and not uh, hold their points or their edge so well. One of the things I'd like to show you is how to get the point back on your paper stump. And what I do is I use a, a little sanding paper and turn as you go and that will give you back that uh, point to get into small nooks and crannies when you use the paper stump. The same applies for the plastic eraser tool because it's not Teflon but plastic. It does disintegrate and a way to just get that edge back is to use it on the sanding paper and then again turn as you go and that'll bring back the point and the edge. The way that I use my little plastic eraser tool, the reason it's called an eraser tool is if you had made an error and you wish to erase a, a line, place your pewter face up on the hard surface and then use your little eraser tool and you're able to erase a line so that it no longer feels embossed and you're able to do textures over it. Another way that I use my little eraser wedge is when you've made square areas it's always nice to have a um, wedge to refine neatly and it just helps to kind of uh, neaten things up without getting into wonky lines and so on and if you wanted to create a neat edge from the back I'm gonna keep it on the hard surface and just run my little wedge in here and that'll create a nice neat border. As far as using our paper stump we normally use it to flatten the background on the surface of the metal and when I flatten the background a reminder that we always do it while we're on the hard surface and if we want to push out the metal or emboss it or create some high relief we would work from the back on the soft mat with our paper stump and gently 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 push out the metal put it back on the hard surface and flatten the background and again you can bring your little plastic wedge and just flatten that edge neatly. So there you go how to take care of your paper stump and your little plastic eraser tool Another way that we can use our little plastic eraser tool is if you have used a stencil and normally where we can go in with our paper stump we use that but some areas are too small so when you use the point of the little plastic tool it's easy to get into those little nooks and crannies where the paper stump is not able to get into. And when you look on the front you've made a neat embossing with uh, when you're using a stencil. So these are a few ways of using your paper stump and your plastic eraser tool and also a way of sharpening them and taking care of your tools. <music>